I would say that one thing about David and me as leaders in, in senior housing is that we have this unique ability to read something and then operationalize it. For years I've read about things like integrative care and equine therapy and said, wow, these can really be taken to the next level. I had this feeling that if residents who have spent their lives around horses had the opportunity to be around horses, that that would be incredibly therapeutic. My wife, for example, when she gets to the age that she needs something like this, she's not gonna go someplace that she can't take the horses. Oh, oh, we're looking feisty. The opportunity to be with their animals, to be with their horse, to have their horse come over and visit with them, it's really important. And that led me to Barbara Rector. She was doing a lot of work with the University of Arizona already about the impact of horses on mankind. My colleagues and I are researching the physiology, meaning what's happening between horse and human when they're making a friend of each other. Well, it turns out horses are very beneficial for helping people come into a balanced state of coherence that when we're balanced, we're highly functional. The site was actually Old Adobe Riding School. That's really sacred ground for us horse people in Tucson. My daughter took riding lessons there. There's lots of different ways you can interact with the horses. Uh, for some, uh, they might just be comfortable with just uh, grooming the horses or petting the horses. We also uh, built in a mounting area where you can actually get up onto the horse. So we'll you know, work with our residents and their capabilities and their interests and, and meet them wherever they are. And this 93-year-old lady and she and Brown, they have this huge connection. I mean, from the get-go, it's like this horse knew her and she knew him and here they are coming together. Um, was encouraging her to stand safely because she's even littler than me, a little 93-year-old, and um, he's like, fine, go right ahead. I'll, I'll just wrap around you. And she says, oh, I feel like I want to hug him. I think he wants to hug me. And I'm like, fine, go right ahead. Showed her how to wrap her. And she turns to me and Anna, she said, I'm 93 years old. I have never even touched a horse. This horse is loving me. I'm loving him. I feel so strong. So all the research uh, tells us there's some very magical healing properties uh, to the horses. And with our partnerships with the University of Arizona, we'll actually be able to study that and quantify that. So we're very excited about that. People like to be with their animals, and animals like to be with their people. <laughs>